What's going on there, guys? Good evening. It's the Earth Master here on this beautiful Tuesday night. I think it's Tuesday night, right? Yep, Tuesday night, November 15th, 2022. It is about oh, 9.04 p.m. California time here along the West Coast. A 2.9 down here. Looks like off the coast of the Costa Rica area, the latest quake on the globe. Far as earthquake activity goes, we've seen some deep movement quakes over here. Uh, into the Eurasia plate well west of our watch zone but uh, that could only mean one thing that things are still ramping up far as pressure goes within this area got this earthquake here in China coming in oh a little bit ago a couple hours ago 4.4 at 577 kilometers deep that's a major uh, deep movement there there has been historically uh, some deeper earthquake activity within the vicinity of today's epicenter. So, and it looks like some large ones as well, uh, much larger than the um, the four pointer that we're seeing there. Some of these look like they're in the six to seven range historically, uh, but those are some definitely some deep earthquakes. All right, around the Philippine plates, things kind of ramping up as well, getting some uh, deeper movement here into the trench areas. Uh, this four point two coming in near volcano volcano islands. Uh, into the, it looks like the Izu Trench or halfway in between the Mariana and the Izu Trench area. 4.2 at 314 kilometers deep. And also, uh, early this morning, just after midnight, we've seen that 4.865 kilometers down into the Mariana Trench. Uh, over here around the Taiwan area, uh, throughout the day today, most of the activity has been confined to the Taiwan area. 4.1 at 15 kilometers deep and some scattered activity throughout the Philippines over the last 24 hours. Uh, one 4.5 in that mix there into the Philippine uh, Phil Philippine Trench uh, at 109 kilometers deep for that 4.5. So things still moving on the deep side across some major plates here. Uh, 4.7 in Indonesia, 73 kilometers deep there. Let's see what we got. Um, that was from last night, the 5.0. Over here around the Java Trench, a little bit of movement this morning kicking up here. A couple fours uh, literally within minutes of each other uh, at about 40 to 50 kilometers deep for those earthquakes. And further west, uh, not a whole lot going on here across the India area uh, or the Middle East. we got one earthquake here coming in this morning near Iran, uh, 4.6 at 10 kilometers deep, but not a whole lot uh, as we head westward. We did have this oddball earthquake, um, and I say oddball because kind of an intraplate earthquake away from um, the major plate boundary here between the uh, Australian and the Antarctica area. 5.0 south of Australia. Now looking at the historical data, there has been some, some earthquake activity uh, recorded out here. Uh, not a lot, but it seems to be confined to this one little area uh, where it looks like there was a pretty good swarm of movement. Uh, I'm not for sure what the dates are on any of these, but it just goes back from uh, 1900. Uh, to 2015. Uh, it looks like there was at least maybe a 6 to 7.0 magnitude earthquake within the zone uh, where we've seen today's uh, five-pointer kick up. Also down here, uh, immediately on the plate boundary, seeing some activity, 4.9, couple 4.9s there, uh, west of the Macquarie Island area, again, south of Australia. Uh, things have kind of let up here around the Fiji area, Tonga area, not a whole lot showing up there on the map and not for sure well yeah actually it looks like it's gone uh, for most of the activity so a little bit of relief here for this region but uh, still that kind of makes me wonder with all this activity uh, around the New Zealand area um, what could be coming because we really haven't seen a lot of activity uh, here in this region might have to uh, uh, switch up the colors here a little bit they're looking a little on the odd side I had to reset the earthquake 3d program earlier because it froze up on me on the update seems to seems to be doing that a lot 5.2 looks like 5.2 in the South Sandwich Islands area 64 kilometers deep for this earthquake so return of movement here along this area and also up into the uh, Peru air er actually Chile area in Argentina region couple fours kicking off there one of those down at 125 kilometers deep into the Peru Chile Trench here uh, just outside of the Santiago area the Atlantic Ocean aside from the South Sandwich Trench uh, activity this morning looks like it's clear 
all the way north, at least nothing being reported there on the map around the Puerto Rico Trench, getting some activity once again. Right smack dab on it, 3.8 around the Puerto Rico area, Puerto Rico Trench, I should say, 24 kilometers deep, and some other scattered activity throughout this area. Off the coast of El Salvador, seeing an earthquake this morning, a 4.5 uh, into the Middle America Trench here. It's a subduction zone. All right, the states, what do we got? Not a whole lot going on. Uh, got one little earthquake that popped off in Missouri earlier this morning. Uh, I was looking at some uh, seismograph stations here of the area. Um, New Madrid zone. Let's see if we can pull that up here and take a look at the latest activity on their map. This is uh, looks like it goes back, back the past six months here from the University of Memphis here. A um, little bit of activity, right? Definitely uh, lets us know that the activity around the New Madrid zone uh, continues. Although six months time frame, that's really not that many. Uh, definitely really haven't seen that much in the past couple weeks or so. There's the activity across the uh, uh, portions of the uh, Appalachian Mountains here. But uh, not a whole lot within the past week or the past day for the New Madrid zone. Uh, just one little earthquake today. Oklahoma got a couple small quakes out there in the uh, north of Stillwater, it looks like. Latest one shows a 2.1 uh, in that area. Uh, let's see what we got uh, near the, well, some airport out there. Let's see what we got here. Go to the satellite view. And uh, wow, it looks like it's right underneath this town um of perry oklahoma i wonder what people are up to here maybe you might want to, somebody digging the tunnel maybe underneath their house who knows um so hard to say if this is uh going to be pumping operation um activity i doubt it uh, there is some fault systems out here i'm sure uh, in this area of oklahoma let me check the u.s hazard map it is kind of within that seismically active zone not the major part down here uh, as in like in southern Oklahoma area, but uh, it's still kind of within that zone. But uh, either way, a little activity kicking up there, it looks like. Uh, the Texas region, seen some activity yesterday and overnight, uh, but no major uptick today. Around the Yellowstone area. Yellowstone National Park there got, uh, looks like about 12 earthquakes over the last 24 hours. Um, let me bring up the Yellowstone view here. And I think there's a lot more than uh, what they're showing there on the map. This is the raw data from a seismograph station uh, located here in Yellowstone National Park, just outside the caldera, which is in the black line, uh, this outline right here. Uh, this area tends to see a lot of swarming, and it's been kind of off and on here over the past two and a half months, I would say of uh, earthquake activity. It's a pretty lengthy swarm. Um, you know, nothing major. We haven't really seen anything uptick far as magnitudes go, uh, but the multitudes are there. There's quite a bit over the last 24 hours. Again, most of these below the 2.5 or 2.0 threshold. I don't really see anything in that mix um, that could be larger than that. Uh, looks like a 1.1, actually the largest in that cluster of quakes, according to the USGS. Uh, Pacific Northwest, awfully quiet. Not a whole lot popping off there. Uh, let's do a quick check of the subduction zone along the Cascadia, which is uh, right here. I don't know why I keep missing that. Zero epicenters, zero tremors over the last uh, day today. Nada. All right, uh, see what else. California region, a little spotty activity throughout the area. I'm not seeing any major movement. Uh, no noticeable odd earthquake activity out across the state today. Things just uh, looks like a typical day across California. Microquakes will pop off. Uh, there's one 2.0 near the Desert Center, California area. That one kicking off this morning uh, just on the south side of the little San Bernardino Mountain Range here. San Jacinto Fault Zone looks pretty average and active. Uh, no major movement around the San Andreas Fault for now. Uh, up into the Alaska area, looks about the same. Just some microquakes. Trident Volcano still kind of uh, swarming up here uh, in and around this area. Seeing a pretty good uh, amount of swarming. 
Uh, nothing really to take note of as far as any uh, updates on that volcano. But definitely something to watch. 1.8, the latest earthquake up there. The Aleutian Trench, pretty quiet. Uh, and there's our activity in the region of the um, the Aleutian Trench and the Kurilkam Chaka Trench, this little bend right here. It's pretty amazing to think that this is a plate, a, uh, a dynamic of plate tectonics here. I mean, that's crazy to see this immediate bend in the plates. Uh, 4.3 kicked off early this morning, uh, about actually about 11.30 into the uh, Russia area, 225 kil kilometers deep into the Kuril Kamchatka Trench. Um, the Big Island, got one earthquake right at Mauna Loa right now. Maybe we're starting to see a little bit of swarming going on there, or start of a swarm. Uh, 2.1, a very shallow earthquake at negative 0.8. Tells me right there that this is definitely a surface feature earthquake, and over the last couple hours, uh, we have some we have seen some little a little bit deeper movement here to the northwest, uh, 0.6 at 3.5 kilometers deep. So still going. It's uh, still having these little earthquake swarms. Nothing major yet, but we will know. We will definitely know uh, when this thing is getting ready to uh, spew out some. Uh, some lava from the uh, area. Right now, I think we're just kind of at a neutral stage. Uh, no major swarms kicking off, which would definitely be an indicator of something uh, brewing. Pahala area, eight earthquakes over the last 24 hours. And Kilauea volcano up here, got one earthquake outside the crater, 1.8. And let's see what else we got here. Yeah, overall seismic activity today, a definite Definite uh, westward push. Notice that little trend of, uh, let's see if I can bring this up here. There's, you can almost draw a line here of westward pressure. That's really not the best half circle, right? Kind of looks like the bend, the bend up here in the uh, plate boundary. But overall seismic activity, got that westward pressure movement, northwestward pressure movement. And um, all the deeper activity we've seen here and the subsequent shallower activity, uh, looks like this area is taking a little break. But I still can't help but wonder the Australia area with all the uh, movement around it and lack of activity uh, that they've been having. There just hasn't really been a lot of activity uh, to make up for all this sub all this movement that's been going on around the Pacific and the uh, Australian plate area. So I'm still got to watch this area pretty closely. Uh, let's see here. I believe that's about it for earthquake activity. Yellowstone, we checked that. Trimmer. We check that out. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a quick uh, volcanic check of Crater Lake. Yes, Crater Lake is a volcano. Everything looks good right now. A beautiful area up there. Uh, I don't know if they've had any fires in that area or not. Hopefully not because it's absolutely beautiful uh, region. It's been a couple years since I've been up there. But uh, beautiful. Um, here's one of these overblown seismographs again. But uh, if there was earthquake activity, it would definitely be noticeable. I'm not seeing it. Uh, everything looks pretty clear across the board here. Uh, there at Crater Lake. Solar weather activity. Things kind of uh, taking a little pause here in the solar x-ray department. No major solar flares uh, have been produced. And it looks like maybe we're getting into a little bit of calm periods here of the uh, calm period of the um, solar sunspots right now. That massive region that we've been looking at here over the past week or so uh, gave us a couple low-grade M flares and, and some C flare activity is now departing over here around the northwest limb of the sun and we're left with not a whole lot um, but I do see we still got this little region pointing at us uh, maybe a newer region here and a couple other regions on the far uh, eastern, southeastern section here of the sun that might be noteworthy to watch um, in the coming days. We'll keep an eye on that, see if anything develops. Uh, there is a coronal hole, and it is pretty large. Uh, 46 here is looking massive. I just kind of wish it was positioned a little bit higher up uh, towards the center region of the sun, although I still think maybe we might get a glancing blow from this thing as it uh, kind of rotates over um, and into our view. So we'll see how that plays out. Right now, see what we got. Uh, things are pretty green across the board. 
nothing really expected. There's no major solar wind event or solar flare activity currently happening um, on the sun. But uh, we'll check back on that coronal hole and see what happens. Uh, these guys are saying a large coronal hole in the southern hemisphere is rotating into an Earth-facing position and it will be geo-effective. So these guys, maybe a little bit of d disagreement with me, seems to think that this will be geo-effective, but I think it's a little bit too far south there on the disk, but we'll watch it. Um, these guys talking about a minor G1 storm. So we'll watch that, see, uh, see how that plays out. All right, folks, have a good night. Stay safe out there. I'm going to jump off here and uh, finish up. I'll finish up a, uh, I don't know, I might watch a movie or something here with Missy Mimi's kind of early, about 9.20. 9.20 West Coast time. All righty, well, have a good night. Uh, Welcome to the new members, new subscribers out here. If you're not subscribed and you're just kind of lurking around, that's fine. Uh, but we do appreciate it. If you do hit that subscribe button and like the videos, the uh, it definitely does help out here on the channel. And uh, that'll be it for tonight, folks. We'll catch you guys sometime tomorrow morning for the update. Uh, until then, have a good night. Peace out. And stay safe out there in this crazy world.